Let's look at an event now for the week starting Monday the 18th of March, which could give some volatility around the market. Certainly the foreign exchange markets are going to be the area to watch. We've got four central bank meetings. Reserve Bank of Australia not expected to move. Uh, the Bank of Japan could well start yield curve control uh, come for its meeting in the early part of next week. And that could give a little bit of interest to the Japanese yen. But it's certainly expected that by April we could well see interest rates on the way up. Uh, in the uh, Japanese economy, very different sort of situation from other central banks. Federal Reserve is expected to cut interest rates, possibly in June, although that is now looking as though that might actually now be in question. But nothing next week from the Fed, but could uh, get some indications about the concerns about the fact that inflation remains sticky. But I want to focus in on what's happening with the uh, Bank of England. No move expected. It's not a real surprise because the Bank of England normally moves when it produces a monetary policy report. And that's due out in May. But that's not even expected to be a time we see the Bank of England cut interest rates. That's expected to be the August report, the MPC uh, full monetary policy uh, document released in August, which could well see the Bank of England start to cut interest rates then. But still, the question about inflation remains and rising uh, salaries and wages is a real concern for the Bank of England. Let's take a look at a trade around this. I want to look at what's happening with sterling against the euro. Now, quite often people trade this as euro sterling, but I'm doing it the other way around because I want to show you the fact that we got this bullish sterling trade here underway. And we're currently trading at 117.06 as we go into the back end of, of the prior week. So looking ahead to next Thursday, we're six days away. Uh, and I'm wondering whether perhaps maybe if we if we do get some hawkish commentary around from the Bank of England, we could well see us escape uh, this band that we've got between um, 115.60 and 117.74. Uh, get a candle close beyond there. And we're then up at levels not seen in terms of strength uh, for uh, the uh, sterling euro trade. Not seen since before the quasi quartang lows we had that budget, remember, on Liz Truss's government, will then take us back to levels against the euro not seen since August 2022. And that uh, could potentially be a significant, potentially a significant move. Uh, but that, I think, is if we see a particularly hawkish commentary around where we are with the Bank of England this time around. Uh, so that's uh, an interesting event to watch out for. High noon. UK time on Thursday next week. Bank of England interest rate decision. It's sterling euro.